Hello, welcome to Bethel Evangelical Free Church, Hanley on YouTube. I'm Pastor Gervais Charmley. I'm recording this during the lockdown, the 2020 spring lockdown in the United Kingdom. It's a time of great anxiety, a time where many people are wondering, who do we look to? Who do we turn to? Who do we trust? And it's the place of the church in a time like this to say, look to God and remember that he is in charge. I want to read some verses from Revelation chapter 4. Revelation 4. Now the book of Revelation is a, a wonderful book of the Bible. But it's one that's very difficult to understand unless you think of it properly, unless you remember that Revelation is not, first of all, a book about monsters, dragons, beasts, demons, the end of the world. It's primarily a book about the sovereignty of God. And so Revelation, the great vision that John has of things that must shortly come to pass, begins with a throw. After these things I looked and behold a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one upon the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper, and a sardius stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance, like an emerald. Around the, th the throne were twenty-four thrones. And on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. For the throne is a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures. You have this a majestic vision of a throne in heaven. And there's a, every reason for this vision, that God is reminding us that God rules and reigns. John was in exile at the time. He had been exiled to the island of Patmos for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, as he tells us. And there, where he was suffering because of the sovereignty of Caesar, because of the persecution of the government, he sees this vision of the throne of God the throne that genuinely rules over all. It's so easy to get caught up in conspiracy theories, in ideas about who really rules the world. But the Bible gives us really no encouragement to get caught up in that sort of thing. Instead, the Bible tells us, no, what we need to remember is that there's one throne that controls the universe, and it's the throne of God. The one who sits on the throne in John's vision is incomprehensible, he's indescribable. There is this, these references to precious or semi-precious stones shining. The, there's a beauty, there's a glory. But there is not a coherent description because this is something that is incomprehensible. It's beyond description, beyond imagination. And around the throne is a rainbow, a symbol of God's mercy and God's covenant grace. And we're reminded that God keeps his promises. And from the throne there are lightnings, thunderings, and voices all coming forth because God is at work on his throne. God is not sitting back and letting the universe do its own thing. God is on the throne at work, he's sending forth his power, he's sending forth his word, he's sending forth his spirit. And so we're encouraged at this time to keep on thinking about God, keep on remembering that our God is still on the throne 
and he will remember his own. Don't panic. Fear not, the Bible says many times. Fear not, because our God rules and reigns. And at this time, what a comfort is, what a blessing, is this time of uncertainty concerning earthly things leads to us refocusing ourselves on heavenly things and remembering our God rules and reigns. Well, thank you for watching and may God help us to remember his rule and his reign. Amen.